Hi, I'm Neha Sami, one of the faculty here at the Indian Institute for Human Settlements and I'm going to talk to you today about the different aspects of the application form for the Urban Fellows Program. All questions that are marked with a star are mandatory. The first part focuses on your personal details which includes information such as your name, age and other such information. The second focuses on your educational qualifications. The mandatory field here is your 10 plus 2. Please answer that carefully. All other fields there such as your undergraduate and graduate uh, degrees are as applicable to you. Uh, so if you don't have a graduate degree, for example, if you have not done a master's, don't worry, you don't need to fill that part of the form. Uh, the third part of the form focuses on your internship or work experience. This is not a mandatory field, but we would like to know if you have had any internship or work experience that you would like to share with us. And please fill in as many internships or jobs that you would like to, to include in your application. We typically have a mix of people with work ex and those who don't have any work experience. So please don't worry if you don't have an internship or work experience to show in this part of the form. The fourth part of the form, which is in some ways uh, where we get to know you the best, is your essays uh, and, and personal statements. There are three questions in this section. All three are compulsory. You have to answer all three of these questions. The first focuses on why you want to apply to the UFP. Through this question, we're trying to understand if you have engaged at all with the content of the UFP, the structure of the curriculum, other aspects such as the testimonials of former uh, fellows, uh, webinars that the faculty may have conducted. So please draw on all of that experience to answer this question, focusing particularly on why you want to come to the UFP and not any other program. The second question focuses on your motivation to study the urban. So we're looking for you to reflect on either work experience or internship or perhaps your educational background or any other experience that you might have had while living in a city or interacting with the urban uh, that motivated you to learn more about it that has brought you here. So this is really your desire and motivation to study the urban. And the third and the final essay is a response to one of a series of questions that we have asked you. So you need to pick only one of the questions that are listed there and respond to those questions. There is no right or wrong answer. You can, you can write an essay in response to it. You can draw, you can sketch. Um, so really the, the third question is up to you to respond in whatever way you want to uh, engage with those questions. Remember there is no right or wrong answer. We're trying to understand from this question how you think about urban problems and questions. The final part of the, the application form is your sample of work. This could be an assignment that you have done uh, as part of your uh, studies. This could be an assignment that you have done for work. It could be an essay that you have written for an internship. It could be an article that you have published. It could be a short film that you've made. Uh, so the, the range of work is actually quite broad. Uh, you know, we have had past applicants submit everything from their studio assignments to music, to films, uh, to essays and uh, academic journal articles that they have written. So it's really a very wide field. Uh, we're looking specifically for your contribution to the work. So if you don't have uh, work that was authored or written or done by you alone and was part of a group assignment, please indicate exactly what part you played in that group uh, because we're trying to assess your role. Uh, and, and your contribution to that work. Um, if there are any formats that are not, you know, working on our website that can't be submitted as part of the form, please write to the UFP email and submit it through there. The work experience is not meant to be kind of constraining. Uh, there's a very wide range of things that you can submit. Uh, so please feel free to kind of send in whatever you feel is most relevant to your application. Uh, for example, if you were to submit photographs, please contextualize them, don't just upload images. Uh, the one thing that we do not consider as work experience is just your CV. So please don't submit just a CV. We're looking to actually see outputs that you have worked on. Uh, if you have any other questions on the form, please reach out to us either on uh, email or over the phone or on any of our social media handles. And good luck.